Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of determinants. And in this question, we have been told that x is equal to minus 9 is a root of the equation that is given by a determinant of x, 3, 7, 2, x, 2, and 7, 6, x. That's equal to 0. So solving this further, we'll get a equation and then we need to solve and find the values of x. He is telling us that x equals to minus 9 is a root of this equation. So one value of x is known and we need to find out the other two roots for this equation. So we need to basically find out the other two values. So I understand that when I solve this quadratic or determinant, I will get a cubic equation. So there will be three values of x satisfying that equation. One is minus 9 and the other two values of x we need to find. So let's see that, how to solve this further. So if I first understand, if I just add all of these terms, x plus 2 plus 7, that is 9 plus x. Second column also, if I add all the terms, I get 9 plus x because 3 plus 6, 9 plus x. And if I add all the elements in the third column as well, 7 plus 2 plus x, that's still 9 plus x. So first thing I can apply here is row transformation. And if I do that, I can write that R1 changes to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So if I apply row transformation, my determinant then becomes this equal to 0. It becomes 9 plus x, 9 plus x, and 9 plus x. So every element of the first row becomes 9 plus x. After that, if I write the second row as it is, the third row also as it is. Now what I can do here is I can take out 9 plus x common. So when I take out 9 plus x common, what remains the determinant is 1, 1, 1, 2, x, 2, and 7, 6, x. That is equal to 0. So if I further solve this, what I get? 9 plus x into determinant, if I try to solve it, 1 into x square minus 12. So I get it. 1 into x square minus 12 minus 1. So minus 1 into 2x minus 14. So you get your 2x minus 14 plus 1 into 12 minus 7. So 12 minus 7. And that whole thing is equal to 0. So what I understand from this is x plus 9. And this gives me x square minus 12 minus 2x plus 14 plus 12 minus 7x is equal to 0. So if I fold this all, I get x plus 9. And here I get minus 12 and plus 12 gets cancelled. You get x square minus 9x plus 14 is equal to 0. So if I further solve this, I get this as x plus 9. And if I further try to solve this quadratic equation, I can split this quadratic as 7x and 2x. So minus 7x minus 2x plus 14 is equal to 0. If I further try to solve this, I can write this as x plus 9. This is x common, x minus 7 minus 2, x minus 7 is equal to 0. So I get this as x plus 9, x minus 2, x minus 7 is equal. So further, if I equate all of this bracket to 0, I get x plus 9 equals to 0, or I get x minus 2 equals to 0, or I get x minus 7 is equal to 0. So I get the values of x here, that is minus 9, 2, and 7. And we were given in the question already that x equals to minus 9 is the root of the equation, but we just needed to find out the other two roots that are 2 and 7. And here, if you see the option that matches in the question is A. So A is the answer for the question which is asked to us that what are the other two roots of this equation that are 2 and 7, right? I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question where determinants are involved and when we needed to form this equation. If you directly form the equation, it will actually become a cubic equation and it would become difficult to solve it further. So it's better you apply row transformation, 
convert all the elements of the first row into same thing and then take it out. So you get one term of x plus nine out. Then whatever you solve, you get a quadratic equation and it becomes easier to solve that quadratic equation for you. And the answers which we get for the roots of the equation are two and seven. And that is our option A. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your family and friends. Thank you.